10,780 pounds. Cougar 315 RLS just came in here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a newer updated floor plan at the time of this filming. Um, it essentially replaces the 310 RLS that has been discontinued. And really, it's basically the same RV. All they really did is they took the living room and they flip-flopped the slide. So that instead of the kitchen over here on the, RV, uh, on the camping side, you have windows over here on the camping side. And what that gives us is better visibility of your campsite and uh, easier access to a second awning. Now it stands in awesome contrast to like a 338 Cougar, which is kind of similar but has a door side outside kitchen and no bunks. When you get big opposing slides like this closed up and you have an island kitchen, accessing stuff in transit or trying to pack the RV can be something of a trick. However, they nailed the layout on the 315 RLS Cougar here at Halet RV. You can see that obviously we can get into the freezer section very simple and easily and you can get into this refrigerator door but notice that there's not a solid partition so if you do have to kind of reach around the corner maybe slightly inconvenient but the fact is you got a big fridge that you can access while you're rolling down the road. You also can pretty much get to most of the storage space right here so as long as you plan accordingly for travel stops it's actually not too bad and fairly impressive on how much you can access when you are in motion and in transit. And this is an immensely popular layout here at Halet RV. Um, and what's cool here is like, let's say you've been looking at something like that big beautiful 3120 Montana. It's an awesome machine, but it's heavier and it's significantly more expensive. What if you could get all the key components of that Montana at a much lighter weight category and a much easier to manage weight category? And that's exactly what the 315 Cougar is. It, it just does everything that's really killer. Like you want double air conditioners, you want zero degree rated, you want the opposing sides, all the big windows, great storage, great kitchen, king bed, big shower, big bathroom. It's got all that. It's got all that in this dynamite package right here. Now, it's got a couple cool things too, like uh, at night, you notice how you've got these uh, glowing panels in that ceiling light fixture as well as in your slide face yet. This has some awesome LED night lighting and it will, uh, like I kind of call it stealth mode, it'll really brighten up in here very nicely, be very comfortable for you. You also have an easy viewing, uh, you know, direct facing entertainment center and that TV's on a really aggressive double jointed articulating swing arm. So if you want to make it face the sofa, you can. You want to face the theater cinema seating, you can. You want to face the dinette, you can. You can kind of make it face any little direction that you want it to, really. Below it, we have that uh, Bluetooth DVD player and extra large, uh, you know, space heating fireplace down there. Now, both sides of the sofa, note that they have storage stands. So you have room to put stuff on top of them, room to put stuff under them, and they have household outlets on both sides of that sofa. And that is a really handy feature whether it's for phone chargers or CPAP machines. And I mentioned CPAP machines here in the living room of this Cougar because you've got a nice guest height of bed back there that can sleep a dog guests and perhaps they need their nice little breathe easy machine with them. And you do always maintain a uh, full use and access to, well, you could sit at both theater seats very easily, but this one can also still fully recline. Now, what's kind of cool here, guys, is that all of your windows, instead of having, having like conventional pleated shades, you have these really rugged uh, wooden shades and they function and act exactly like pleated shades. You just sort of lift them up and down. But what's nice is they're a little stronger and they are much, much easier to clean. And as long as we're speaking of windows, I want to just kind of start, I want you to start counting all the windows because there's a ton of them. And again, one of the main differences on the 315 that the 310 lacked. Well, the 310 had all these windows. It did. But they're always looking at the neighbor's campsite. The 315 Cougar, all these windows are looking at your site. So you get to enjoy the, you know, the, the area, the space, the scenery that you want, that you paid for, that you sought out when you booked that camping adventure. You don't want to watch the neighbors have a good time. You want to have a good time. <laughs> now, uh, also keep in mind the one that's in stock could be different. Like this is the lighter decor. Cougar always offers like a dark, a lighter decor. Your chairs won't really change typically. It's usually just your sofa skins that tend to be updated with that. Sometimes your little window valances, but not too much. So, I mean, these windows are just letting in a flood of light, but you've also got a ton of light coming within the slide out. 
there is dimmer switch lighting in the slide there. So if you do want to kind of just dim the lights a little bit, whether it's movie night or something like that, in conjunction with those LED light panels, this is very comfortable, nice, and easy to view in the evening times. Um, but during the day, you know, you got to eat. <laughs> Guys got to eat. Girls got to eat. So what does the cougar bring to the table when it comes to putting food on the table? That is the question. And the answer to that question is a ton, a ton of storage capacity. Let's start right up front here. So right when you walk in the door, you have this uh, handy little sort of like entry bureau. But this would be a great little uh, sort of coffee corner, you know, a little coffee bar right here with that appliance outlet right there. But note, that's a full backsplash on that bar right there. So if you do set, like if you just tend to toss your keys or your stuff or some papers or mail or whatever up there, whatever it is, you know, if you splash something, it's not going to mess up that wall. You have a little guard there. And, you know, <laughs> we are not hurting for like big pots and pan space. Your Montanas are really the ones that get all the notoriety for being full-time use RVs, but there are plenty of full-time RVers using Cougars out there. Um, and there's no reason you can't. I mean, they, they have basically the same construction as a big Montana, basically the same features, just a little bit smaller size and a little bit less glitter, I guess you could say. Don't get me wrong, that glitter is nice, but it doesn't necessarily have to be there. And that's what this is. This is the more, um, I don't know, down to earth. <laughs> big fifth wheel package max air vent fan up there thankfully there is a wall controller so you don't need to be 10 feet tall and a larger four door 12 cubic foot fridge freezer gas and electric so traveling friendly and it has that convenient auto changeover in the vent of power loss which is very handy again for seasonal type users big residential size microwave over there with full storage around it now there is a window below that microwave for more visibility but again the sun was killing me there so uh, it's killing me smalls now there's a appliance outlet above the countertop space in this little alcove here. So if you are looking for another little coffee maker or blender corner, plenty of space to do that. And since the cabinet isn't like 10 feet above the countertop, you shouldn't have trouble reaching anything. Now anywhere you're gonna see counter space in this thing, you're going to see storage. And they utilize every ounce of space they can. The shelves in this uh, super slide pantry here, they are fully adjustable, removable even. You can convert this into whatever space you want. And we're still not done. The hits just keep on coming. As you notice that the TV swings out of the way to reveal an extra pantry space back here, an additional big chunk of storage area. And hey, why not throw a couple drawers above because there was space to do it. So why waste anything? That is not what this RV is about. This RV is not about wasting anything. It's about utilizing every single can thing it can very effectively. But there's one more thing we haven't really looked at yet in the kitchen, and that's the thing staring us in the face, the island. Um, so you can, you, you've already seen that there's some easy reach appliance outlets. There's more of those right on the island face on each side, as a matter of fact. And they use an oversized island so that even if you do, uh, like this has the sink right in the middle of it, there's still good space on both sides of it. That is a, uh, a nicer metallic sprayer faucet, not a cheaper plastic one, as you will sometimes find when you start getting into this class and category, you know, in this price point. Again, uh, just having um, like one of the largest volume production facilities out there, Cougar can afford to put some nicer stuff in sometimes and still keep their pricing pretty effective, just purely off volume. So stainless uh, double sink, very deep and large with sink covers, and there are dual covers to go with that. I just simply have one tucked away so you could take a look at the sink. And now over here, big space for a wastebasket below the sink. Uh, you know, pots, pans, uh, sort of shelf drawer space. There's your other sink cover directly below the sink. And why not add some more drawers in here? Because at this point, you know, Let's just go nuts, man. That's what we're doing. On the way up to the bathroom and bedroom deck, we're going to pass our in-command control center. Basically, it's a uh, you know touch screen that has uh, a Bluetooth uplink so that anything you can do off of this pad, you can do off of your phone effectively. So if you want to control your air conditioning, your furnace, your uh, you know your your bedroom, your main cabin lights, your slides and awnings, all that can be done right here or off your phone. Turn your water heater on and off on it. Like maybe you're going to be outside. And you're like, hey, you know, let's go take a shower. You can go ahead and kick on the gas section of the water heater outside to get, you know, that water going before you get there. And newer update at the time of this filming, all Cougars, uh, as part, like, the big Cougar that we're in, they've been zero degree rated for a while. But big Cougar, 
uh, followed along with the rest of them and said, hey, let's go ahead and add 12-volt tank heating pads to everything. Now, this right here, this is just kind of a little gadget that Furion is throwing at manufacturers for a little bit of no money. And right now, it's nothing, really. What you can do is you can get a, uh, a Furion modem to hook up to this thing for a mobile data access, or you could just pretty much use, or not modem, but router. You could use pretty much any router you want anywhere. Now, notice how thick these interior walls are. That's a neat thing that Keystone does. They fully stud out, fully frame out all of their doors so that they are, I forgot to turn on the light, pardon me, so that they're a little more structural, going to remain square. You've got great linen space here in this bathroom. This is a very standardized bathroom you're going to see. The, the bedroom and bathroom in most of your Cougars actually looks exactly the same. Porcelain stool there with plenty of leg room, so whether you're, you know, using the toilet, need the leg room, or you get out of the shower, need to get dressed, you got plenty of space for it. Now the kitchen had solid surface counters. The bathroom here has a pressed membrane edge on that countertop so that it is going to be more water resistant. And that is an extra large sink and vanity to go along with a very generously sized shower that has recessed um, plumbing. So it's the same height as the rest of the floor. So you have a full walk-in upper deck and a handy little corner there or corner seat rather. Now this uh, uses the same door as the Montana, so it doesn't matter if you're coming or going, it's always you know easy and out of the way. Now a couple big important things I want to point out here is that this does have a second air conditioner installed from the factory. That's an optional piece of equipment. We tend to do that on anything with a bed slide here at Halet RV because you have enough space you really need that extra cooling power. Now, when you get it from the factory, it's so much cheaper than adding an aftermarket. It's ridiculously cheaper, and it ties into the central ducting instead of just dropping into the bedroom. Um, now, over here, we also have an optional king bed shown. Remember that the one in stock could be a little bit different. 60 by 80 queen is standard. 70 by 80 king is available as an upgrade. Now, both sides of the bed have uh, power outlets nearby and handy little stands for, you know, like little phone chargers or, you know, of course, CPAP machines. It, it, you know, people, why do you talk about that all the time? Because it's important. A lot of people who go big RVing, they are CPAP users. So I like to make sure you know what you got there. So you see you've got that corner stand in there with both household and USB outlets. And if we slide those doors to the other side, you see just the remainder of the hanging closet. And over here, this is able to accept a combo washer dryer. You can see the plumbing's all set and ready for it. Another big window here in the bedroom, again with the pleated, or uh, not pleated, but the uh, wooden shades. So that, uh, you know, you have more privacy and you can block more heat from the sun with those things because they just keep the sun just flat out. Um, and they're so easy to operate. That's what I like. Now, your bedroom TV is also standard here in these Cougars. Another thing that's kind of cool, guys, you can use it in command for lights, but you don't have to. There's still a main cabin light switch. You have one by the rear sofa for the living room. You have one for the bedroom here, or you could operate them off your phone. So you don't have to use the touch screen on your phone or the uh, control pad on the wall, obviously. It's there if you want it. But the other neat thing is being able to control your heating and air conditioning. If you're in the bedroom here and you wake up at night and you're too hot, grab your phone, you know, set the air conditioner where you want it, and watch this thing kick on. And you never even had to get out of bed. And that is cool. This thing has such a good look to it as well. It really stands out against that beautiful bright blue sky behind us. Now, we also have a huge pass-through compartment up front. We'll see that in a little bit, but first I want to zero in on this, uh, you know, triple-coated uh, painted nose cap up front here. It's got these cool raised bubble letters on it, and it really just helps that thing just sort of set the tone, and it gives this RV such a striking appearance as you're looking at it, whether it's at a campsite, on the road, whatever. You know, what's great is within their category, Cougar is one of the lighter weight, uh, bigger fifth wheels and one of the more aggressively priced bigger fifth wheels. But you're really not losing out on anything. I mean, we still have, uh, you know, Cougars are and have been zero to 100 degree rated. And with their upgrade to uh, Climate Guard, they're even more so now. Um, they've done some things like added some heat reflective layering to the roof, the nose, and the underbelly to help keep the sun out. They've vented the attic and they've redesigned their whole heating system to uh, work a little bit better and it now also includes 12 volt uh, tank heating pads as well. So I mean, Cougar's never been better. We still have that king bed, we've got the triple slides, we've got all kinds of storage. We have the industry's most comprehensive three year structural warranty. These guys are strong, they are, they are super strong. 
We've got the uh, enclosed docking station over here, which is part of the reason. This is zero degree rated, and again, has been for a while. But a couple little updates I want to point out. You see this little hook up here? It says Key TV. Well, not much to look at, but it's what it does for you because it just simplifies your camping experience. So that basically you no longer have like an antenna signal booster button switch that you have to try to fish for and find behind the uh, entertainment center. Instead, essentially, the system will just kind of understand and, and determine what signal the TV is looking to accept and it'll auto-tune accordingly. It's just simpler, easier. Now, I don't really know of anything in this classic category that does not have a fully walkable roof. But I'm not sure how many of those all have fully walkable slides, like Cougars and Montanas and a lot of your Keystone fifth wheels do. That is a nice thing to, to have that peace of mind feature there. God forbid you got to get on it to clean it. Not to mention the fact that just if you can walk on it, you know, makes you feel a little bit better that you, you know there's a little uh, pretty heavy duty structure going on. Now up top, of course, we do have, uh, you know, rear camera prep. But down here on those brake lights, you see the white elements. This now has, uh, Keystone's gone to reverse travel lighting so that when you shift into reverse, you've got some, and, and these things are no joke, even midday, you can tell this fifth wheel is backing up and not just because it's moving toward you. Also, the uh, two inch receiver hitch on the back here is something that's very nice if you want to add small cargo tray, bring a little generator, or if you're looking to add a bike rack, you can do all of that without voiding that comprehensive structure warranty that I mentioned. Isn't that nice and isn't that smart? These guys just really think of everything. Another improvement on this floor plan is its ability to have a second awning right on the face of that super slide. So first of all, we've got tons of windows and they're overlooking your campsite instead of the neighbors and everybody seems to love that. I know I do. I know, it's a very popular feature. It's one of the things that's made the Eagle 321 I've talked about, the Montana 3120 very popular. You know, similar things here. Loaded with door side windows. You got that double awning. Now on your Cougar, they're dual easy tilt awnings, which is actually very, very neat. And I do mean easy tilt. Two finger, pull, done. Drop it, like it's hot. <laughs> and now we've got some handy rainy day runoff. And what's kind of cool is you can sort of tilt the awnings either way. They're also self-correcting, so if you leave them tilted like that, you roll the awning up, no big deal. It'll straighten the arms right out. And of course, you have LED lighting under both awnings here. Now, uh, a newer update at the time of this filming is the uh, you know upgrade to the Moride stable steps here. They're a little more expensive, but they're worth every penny and then some. These are one of the best things to happen to RVing in a long, long time. Like when flat screen TVs came into the RV business and they allowed RV designers to just totally change everything. That's the kind of impact I think these steps have had to a lot of uh, builders. So, you know, you've got a big four stepper here, by the way, so it's very easy to get in and out of this, but you still have those adjustable feet down there to make this thing marry up to any site that you want. Now, Cougars have wider and taller doors, which is nice. Uh, more RVs are catching on to that, although not all of them do. So that's why I still want to point this out. Now you've got uh, double uh, slam latches, double magnet holdbacks up here, and we also have a very nicely sized, very cleanly executed large pass-through compartment right here. There's that blue coily hose. I knew that thing was running around here somewhere. I couldn't remember where I saw it. TV hookups on the left, motion sensitive above, and in command, dead center right here. In command is standard on all Cougar trailers and fifth wheels, whether it's big Cougar, little Cougar, any Cougar. And uh, it does a couple things for you. It makes it easy to get to see the color-coded wiring that goes into all Keystone RVs. They're, that was an industry first thing in the towable business. Um, it gives you a switch selector to manually uh, override and still have a switch you can use to operate things like jacks, uh, slides, awnings, motors, basically, so that you have like an emergency backup. But the thing is, we haven't really seen a lot of problems with this because this is more of an automotive style uh, wiring system that you might find in like a diesel pusher. And that is also uh, the, the system right there that allows you to sync to your phone in a hands-free fashion. And I believe I mentioned it in the back, but again, uh, all LED tail and marker lights. Handy, handy feature. So you know what, while this is up, uh, another thing to note here is your exterior doors, they have sealed hinges on them so that, uh, you know, water can't get in there, freeze, and uh, spring the hinge, which is kind of a problem you don't want to run into. Now, uh, as I step back here, again, you get a nice look at those dual power awnings. Remember that you can tilt them around wherever you want. And I think that we've got her, ladies and gentlemen. So, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, we only do everything 
at Haylet RV, but we don't do hidden dealer fees. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.